This is this is uncharted territory. Are we having fun yet? So apparently we have a San Antonio Spur that's going to star in a new Adam Sandler film. We definitely we definitely got to talk about this before we do really quickly if you guys want to support the channel uh for a trivia prize i will be giving this to patreon youtube members you guys will be able to compete for this i'll send out a link at the end of the month last friday of the month in which you will be able to do a trivia where we'll be live it'll be pretty pretty fun you won't be on live with me so don't worry about that but i will send out a link for you guys to be able to compete for this tim duncan plaque and if you just want to support the channel just out of the genuineness of your heart it's only two dollars per month so i mean two dollars man but link in the description for that all right so let's talk about this so our boy wancho i cannot say your last name her name go i'm so sorry i'm sorry he's gonna star in an adam sandler film called hustle now i do have some thoughts about this okay i do all right and this has nothing this is gonna be a little different video all right this has nothing to do with me being excited that he's in this film okay i i kind of i kind of care less but i will say that this is very uncharted territory we are definitely in a different generation of san antonio spurs players to the point where we're just having like so much so much star power i mean not crazy all right not crazy star power but this is kind of a big deal and the reason why this is a big deal isn't because it's adam sandler it's because it's adam sandler like post 2015 i gotta talk about something all right if anybody knows me and i go live sometimes with you guys and I, I talk about these things but you know that i'm a huge movie buff like i love film but one thing i will say is adam sandler his movies man if you're talking the 90s his movies are pretty great all right yes let's just be real his, his movies are pretty great they were pretty awesome um he was the man in the 90s and then you get to the early 2000s and it starts getting a little iffy. I mean, you got little Nicky here, uh, Mr. Deeds, I guess, you know. But then it's a point in his career where he just got completely, utterly lazy. I mean, we're talking grown ups, which was really just an excuse for him to get him and his comedian buddies on free vacations. Um, Jack and Jill, which was just a garbage fire. And yeah, a lot of films that he's done that has been terrible. The Do Over, like, oh my God. Uh, I don't think I've seen The Cobbler, but that just sounds god awful. But I've seen most of his movies, and typically I will say it's hit and miss, okay? I, I, for every great Sandler movie, I will say there's like two terrible ones. But with that being said, there was a point where he made a turn, okay? It was a huge turn. One of the great, one of the greatest films I ever went to the theaters to see. And that was uncut gems this was a fabulous film it was way more grounded it wasn't a comedy by any means okay i would say more so thriller but it had a lot to do with the addictions of gambling and it was so just mwah, i love that film now don't get me wrong it was because of the directors but with that being said i will say this the director that they have for this upcoming field that will star our boy juancho in hustle is one that is also a grounded director so i'm starting to believe he made we the animals which was definitely more of a independent film feel i'm starting to believe that our boy and adam sandler okay maybe my boy or i don't know if you guys like adam sandler but adam sandler is starting to go in a different direction a direction where he's making films that's more intimate and more personal and if you know anything about uncut gems kevin garnett actually played in that film so and he did a great job so uh, look it's pretty nice to see if if this happens okay because i don't trust adam sandler but if this is true if he is really changing things up and he's being a little more grounded this is going to be really nice to see if wancho's still with the spurs it's going to be really nice to see a spur player in a profound film now i don't know i don't know adam sandler is hit and miss all right he makes a lot of trash but he makes a lot of great things you're talking hotel transylvania but then you know you like i said you got grown-ups or you know that's my boy or oh my god don't mess with the Z zohan oh my god uh but click was okay click was all right he'll be good happy gilmore you know but that's the 90s i don't know the longest yard was all right so i don't know maybe it's post 2005 that he was really trash i don't know but hopefully this film is something different because uncut gems is one of my favorite films literally one of my favorite films of all time i i really love this i dig this i dig this movie so much um 
But anyways, you guys let me know what you think, okay? You excited for the San Antonio Spur being in a movie or not? Do you care? Not really, because he's probably gone pretty soon. I don't know. Look, if you want to support the channel, like I said, it's only $2 per month, Patreon, YouTube members, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, leave a comment below and yeah, just just uh, hit, hit me up, guys. Hit, hit me up. Hit me up. All right, I'll get with you guys later. Deuces.